You know, one thing we know for sure about language and that we've all experienced at some point or another is that it is ambiguous, right? Language is ambiguous. We have multiple meanings for different words and we use words for different things and things take on different meanings over time. Uh, and this is true in leadership as well, starting at the very beginning with what's the difference between a manager and a leader. So uh, it's important for us to take a quick look at some of the differences between leadership and management. Okay, just draw some quick distinctions in some major areas between leadership and management. So first, as we look at management versus leadership, management, it's important to note, is an organizational construct. It's something that organizations put together. It's, it's a, it's a method for, uh, for organizing people toward a particular goal, uh, but it's, it's constructed by that specific organization. And, and so management derives their power authoritatively from the organization uh, as somebody who's been placed in that position and somebody else who said this position will oversee this other position or positions, right. And, or people. And so this management though is an organizational construct. It's, it's put in place by the organization and derives its power from the organization. Leadership on the other hand has a very distinct human element. There's something about a leader that moves beyond just that organization. An organization can put someone in charge. They can um, put that person in a position of management, but they can't necessarily make that person a leader. They uh, can't make others follow that person in the way that, that they would a leader. So um, leadership has this human element that we need to really connect with that person, uh, regardless of their position in the organization or within that organizational construct, a leader has to be somebody as a person, as a human that we connect with, that we um, put our faith in and our trust in. And so there's a difference in that regard that management is an organizational construct and drives its power from that. Leadership, however, has that human element. Uh, another difference between management and leadership, management is about the efficiency of a process. Management is about getting a job done correctly in the most efficient way possible. Um, if it's a for-profit industry, for example, you're trying to make whatever widget you're making as cheaply as you can, and hopefully at the best quality that you can, but it's about doing so in the most efficient way. And so management's job is to create that efficiency of process, balancing the, the quantity and quality and, and making sure that we're doing uh, the best we can in uh, securing both of those through that efficiency. Leadership, however, is about developing potential within those people and within that process, maybe even um, that it's, it's about not just the efficiency there, but what about next week? What about next year? Uh, how can we develop this so that we're continuing to grow um, these people or this product or this process moving forward? right? And the development. So they're looking at, at that potential that exists within that person or within that process, within uh, that event, whatever it is. And they're trying to develop that potential for even greater purposes down the road, as opposed to the efficiency of the process right now. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which management is mostly concerned with the present. That's their primary concern. What's happening right now? with the people that I'm managing, what's happening right now with that process. What can I do right in this moment to make sure that we're, we're having the most efficient process and putting out the best widget or, or whatever it is that you're doing, but it's concerned with what's happening right this moment. Leadership, however, is concerned with the future. Again, we're looking at the development of that potential. So we want things to go. Leaders want things to go well now, but they're also looking down the road and thinking, okay, what does this mean? What can we do now to be preparing for what's coming? a week from now, a year from now, or whatever it is, right? They're looking at the future and what's the possibility here. Right? So, uh, so when Amazon started, for example, they were an online bookseller. That's basically what they did. And that was their present. That was their now. Right? But Be Jeff Bezos always had an eye toward the future. What do we need to be doing now to ensure that we can do other things in the future? They started as a bookseller because they wanted to refine their process for how they were doing these things. They wanted to refine that process so that when they expanded, they could do so and have that great efficiency in selling other things and really work out the kinks with this one thing. So they were looking at a future. A leader looks at that future. They develop that potential, not for the present, but for down the road. You know, what's some maybe short-term pain that we can endure to get that long-term gain. 
Uh, management is about supervision. It's about making sure people are doing what they're doing, what they're should, what they should be doing, uh, and that the process is working the way it should be going. So you're overseeing these things. You're really taking note of what's happening again right now in that process to improve the efficiency of that process and of those people. Leadership, though, is concerned with vision. They cast a vision for these people. Here's where we could be in the future, and here's what we're working toward. So they're not necessarily supervising people in their day to day activities. Um, as, a, as a leader, that's not necessarily a leadership role to, to make sure everybody's you know, taking a break for the right amount of time or for, you know, doing the exact amount of uh, you know, whatever it is they're doing. That's supervision. That's a management responsibility. Leaders are here to cast a vision. Here's what can happen if we all do what we should be doing, what we can be doing. Here's where we could end up. Here's what could happen as a result and, and so forth. They're casting that vision. In truth, however, all of this isn't so separate as we make it sound. There are a lot of other differences between management and leadership, but the best situations, truthfully, are when those things come together. When you have a manager who's also an excellent leader and vice versa, you know, oftentimes leadership does involve some of those management responsibilities. So, at the, you know, while you're supervising people at the same time, you have to be casting that vision. You have to be concerned with what's happening now, but also be looking toward the future and where this could go. So really the best uh, situation is a marriage between these two things. It's not management or leadership. It's management and leadership working hand in hand. Uh, that's really the most ideal situation. If you have questions or comments about management versus leadership and, and the difference between the two, or which one you think is, is more appropriate in a given situation, please feel free to email me or comment. I'd love to, to chat with you about that. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you'll really consider these things as we differentiate between them, but also consider how they work together in the most ideal sense, uh, that, the, that the best managers are also great leaders and that the best leaders are also really effective managers.